Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I pray all is well with you on this uh, beautiful Sunday. Alhamdulillah, uh, rain is coming down. Alhamdulillah, we have a unique uh, opportunity this morning or this afternoon. Uh, been obviously has asleep, slept late today. Uh, we have a unique opportunity, inshallah ta'ala, where we're beginning what we're calling uh, the Ramadan uh, iftar cooking show. And this is an opportunity for us to uh, see some of the talents and members of our community. Um, and to learn some dishes that maybe we can add to our iftar repertoire uh, to see how, uh, uh, you know, how well we cook to try to get some more uh, varied dishes, inshallah ta'ala, uh, into our uh, cuisine uh, for the month of Ramadan. Uh, we are uh, fortunate to have uh, uh, today a very special guest uh, who will be sharing with us a recipe that we can all take. Um, and I just wanted to give people just a, in terms of perspective of what we're trying to do and accomplish here. We want to try to encourage people to take advantage of these recipes, right? Some of them may be recipes that we are not used to and maybe uh, give us an opportunity to think outside the box of what we usually uh, serve uh, for iftars. And so we want everybody to try to do it, just to be a little bit more adventurous to make it more exciting. But also it gives us an opportunity uh, to uh, share in a meal that we can all collectively share in. In other words, as I'm eating this meal in my house, although I'm not physically in the presence of the person, uh, uh, you know, other people in the community, um, I know that they are eating that same meal as well. So collectively, inshallah ta'ala, we can have this feeling, at least understanding that we are all eating the same food, although we are physically not in the same place of doing so. Uh, so we're, you know, we're asking that everybody try their best to actually try to prepare these dishes to expand our palate a little bit, also to try to bond uh, with one another through these virtual means. Uh, so inshallah, we'll be doing this every Sunday and you'll have an opportunity. Uh, we'll give you the uh, video. Uh, I mean, we'll do the, the, the live uh, showing and then you'll have the video as well to look at uh, for ingredients um, and how to uh, prepare the meal uh, maybe later. Uh, but just before we begin, I just wanted to just make an important announcement. Uh, today is the last day for what we're calling the Ramadan 30 day challenge. And this is an opportunity for us to be generous for 30 days in the month of Ramadan. 30 days in the month of Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala, that we, what you do is you sign up on the 30-day challenge, which is on the website, and you'll see the link there, uh, which tells you how much are you willing to commit 
every single day. It's not large amounts. We're looking for small amounts, inshallah ta'ala, that you're willing to commit every single day for the entire month of Ramadan. That way, it can be a means by which we increase in our generosity in this month, although we are not physically able to do so in the mosque. So please make sure you do that, participate in that. In, in that. Uh, uh, the, you know, the amounts are small. We're not spending money on... Um, the amounts are small. We're not used to... Uh, uh, we're not using now our money... Of, of you know spending eight dollars on latte lattes or uh, you know Starbucks coffees etc. Uh, so please partake in the Ramadan uh, thirty day challenge inshallah ta'ala increase uh, you know the spirit of generosity uh, in this month. Secondly, uh, as you know, another opportunity that we have in terms of the uh, uh, sharing and iftar is we're doing a curbside iftar. This is the second program. Is the idea that we prepare a meal in our houses. The third is uh, what we're calling inshallah ta'ala. I mean at least for this week, and we're going to have different meals hopefully for every week. Uh, but that is the, uh, this week it's the pizza in a box. The pizza in a box opportunity is for us. If you go online, you can purchase the pizza in a box uh, thing, uh, the, the button, and you will have delivered to your house all the ingredients you need for, to make a pizza at home. So the, the, uh, the cheese, the dough, uh, the sauce, uh, and alhamdulillah, halal pepperoni. So all of that will be delivered to your house, inshallah ta'ala, on Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. And so you need to order, though, by tomorrow. By tomorrow uh, it, it, it will be the last day for that. And then we can, uh, we'll have the, we, you'll actually have it delivered to your house. Uh, so everybody can then partake. Hopefully it will be Pizza Tuesday this week uh, that everybody in our community, inshallah ta'ala, will be having a pizza that uh, they were providing the ingredients for and they were able to make at home with their family. It's a great thing to do with the children. Uh, it's a great thing to do uh, uh, you know, uh, with, with the family members in the house and to share in pizza. Um, Thirdly, uh, we're going to be beginning. Uh, we had some amazing submissions of uh, the, uh, you know, pictures of decorations in your house for the Ramadan photo challenge. This is another way and a means for us to connect with one another to see what others are doing to also inspire other members of our community of what they could be doing in their houses. Uh, so it was a uh, people had uploaded their photos uh, online. And they're able to see their, uh, you know, the, the up uploaded their photos online of the decorations they put in their house. We've selected a, a winner uh, for that. Uh, so I'll have a winner every week in terms of these contests. Um, but we will also be releasing all of the video, all of the photos and that, that all the community members sent will inshallah ta'ala be released tonight at, uh, uh, you know, at the 9.15 uh, evening program. Um, so please, the musallah competition is going to be beginning. That is to take a picture of a, the musallah that you're using for your house, the little masjid you've created in your house, your little NBIC that you've created in your house where you do your ibadah, your dhikr. If you're sitting there and wondering, oh, were we supposed to do that? Yes, you should be doing that, right? We don't have the ability to go to the masjid. We should take the opportunity to set in our house a section. Maybe it's a corner. Maybe it's a whole room. Rearrange some of the furniture. Make that your little masjid in your house where you are doing your Salah and your ibadah, etc. Reading your Quran, right? Uh, don't just make it on the couch in front of the TV, you, you know, that you're just sort of, you know, slouching around and you're doing this, doing that. No, physically make sure you get up, you move to that port, part of the house or that part of the apartment or that part of the room in which you're going to be doing your ibadah, inshallah ta'ala. And make that a beautiful place that you want to sit in, right? And so that's part of what we're doing is the uh, part of the photo competition now. Everybody to take play, take pictures of their musallah that they've created, right? It, it could be simple as, you know, just a simple carpet that you've done, maybe a sort of a wall hanging, whatever it is that you've created your little spiritual space where you can grow in this month, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, and so if you haven't done so already, uh, start, you know, getting creative and figuring out how you're going to create your beautiful uh, musalla and place where you are praying. All right. Inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to uh, ask our guest uh, uh, to come on, uh, Amina Suleiman, if she can uh, come on now and unmute. All right, Amina, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, Amina. How are you? Alaikum assalam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. We're very excited to have you here on our first uh, uh, Ramadan iftar preparation uh, cooking show. Me too. Uh, and so we're, we're, we're glad to have you. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself in terms of your cooking interests and what spur sure. do you have, you know, your cooking interest and maybe areas that you like to cook in? Absolutely. So I love cooking. I started cooking since I was a little girl. And then one night also in Ramadan, uh, a couple of years ago, 
my friends were like, can you just do an Instagram where you like post all your recipes so we could just see it so we don't have to text you all the time? And I was like, you know what? I will. And then from there, we just blossomed into this food blog where I just shared the things that I like to make for my family and the things we like to eat. And um, it just went from there. It kind of cascaded or blossomed into something awesome. So... And there. One of the one of the things I found in terms of with during this quarantine, I've been doing a lot of cooking and baking. That there's there's a very clear distinction between cooking and baking, right? Absolutely. Uh, yes. So, so could you maybe just touch on that distinction? Or oh yeah, sure. I love that question. Um, I consider myself more of a cook than a baker because I like to eyeball things. So cooking is is a lot more eyeballing. You know, you don't really have to measure the amount of cheese you're putting into a dish where baking is very precise. So somebody who's exact, someone who, um, you know, likes to follow the rules is a better baker than a cook. So baking involves temperature and involves measurements and involves like bringing things to the room temperature or do you wanna bake your cookies cold? Should you add an extra egg? There's a lot of science behind um, baking. So I, I like cooking more, it's more freelance. You can kind of, Go with your own vibe. Okay. Uh, and is there any uh, particular cuisines uh, you like, or do you dabble in all of them? I dabble in all of them. I have been obsessed with Asian for a while. Um, but yeah, I love all of them. Anything anything that tastes good, I'm, I'm down to eat it. So do you read recipes or do you create your own? So I, ever since I was little, I like to read recipes all the time or like watch shows. So I used to love the, my favorite show was the Food Network, like the whole channel. So I used to absorb all that. And then from there, I kind of like dived into my own recipes. So the, the things that are on my blogs are the recipes that I made, but I definitely have tried people's recipes before all the time. That's how you do your research. Okay, can you just give us a, a, a brief introduction of what you uh, are gonna be sharing with us today? Uh... Yeah. So today, uh, Sammy asked me to do Italian. So today is a- uh, I'm Sammy, by the way. Sammy Katovic from MBSC. <laughs> he uh, requested Italian. So upon his request, we have made this one pot skillet Italian dish. It is a creamy mushroom uh, spinach pasta kind of chicken dish which I find pretty easy, it was done under 30 minutes. And that's what I usually like to target, the easy recipes that you um, can get done, like a fast iftar. So this is a pretty fast iftar. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, uh, you, you, you did this yesterday, correct? And so we're going yep. to be showing you the, uh, showing everybody the video in terms mm -hmm. to, to explain it, uh, inshallah, and then we will uh, have a few questions or uh, afterwards uh, about it. Absolutely. Okay, just yeah. give me one second. I'm a little bit um, technologically not there. Uh, where did my okay? That's okay. I you have to. I have to apologize. Um, of the cuisines that you uh, um, uh, like, is there anything that you consider more difficult? Um, I think Italian Italian is simple flavors, but the prep time for it is a lot longer. Where like people think that Asian is really hard, but the flavors are so simple and you only need a few ingredients and it's super fast. Like okay. I, I, I tend to gravitate towards that more. Okay. Yeah. What about Asian fusion? Like what? Like, well, that seems thinking? to be a popular term that people use nowadays, right? Asian fusion. Like we have on the blog on Instagram at mealswithamina.com and uh, they have a uh, a sesame chicken recipe, which I don't necessarily, it's American Asian. Uh, so it's really good and super easy. I would call that fusion if you want. All right. I think I do have your video. Uh, right. And so we will put that on now. So hopefully this works. Bismillah. MBIC, how are you doing? Ramadan Kareem. Today on Meals with Amina, it's a very, very special brand new recipe 
for you, brought to you by nobody because I'm not sponsored. But this week, we're going to dive into our little Italian, uh, you know, jeans. And we're going to make this creamy mushroom spinach chicken. And it's a saucepan um, dish. And we're gonna serve it over some pasta. And I have some bow tie already cooked out here, but that's what we'll be using today in order to get this dish started. So, thing is first, you want to cut one yellow onion, and you also want to cut three tablespoons of garlic. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will be using two boxes, so 16 ounces, of white mushroom. Now, if you have a greater portobello, you have a baby bella, those would be beautiful too. We're also going to be using some better than the bouillon vegetable base. Now, I like that vegetable base in order to get a really rich, flavorful so uh, sauce. We'll also be using crushed red pepper. We'll use salt. We're gonna use black pepper. And we're going to use half and half. And the special guest, some spinach. Take your mushrooms and get a wet paper towel. And what we're gonna do is we're going to wipe it down. You don't wanna rinse your mushrooms or wash your mushrooms because mushrooms love moisture and what's gonna happen is it's gonna get wet and soggy and that's really bad for your pan sauce. So you just wanna wipe it down. Next, you wanna bring about four cups of spinach to this bowl. This is the spinach that we're gonna to add to our pan sauce. It's really important that you um, have fresh spinach. Fresh spinach works really well. It reduces to nothing basically in the pan sauce. And so four cups seems like a lot now, but it's not gonna be. You wanna have your marinated chicken, which is breast by the way, cut into cubes. I added some onion, some garlic, some garlic powder, paprika, salt, pepper, and even some sazon for flavor. Um, you can do it any way you like. Yeah, but I kind of wanna add some cheese. This is a mix of Gouda and mozzarella that I shredded from scratch. It's always better to use the block. So we're gonna do that as well. So in your one big pan, you want three tablespoons of olive oil with a sprig of fresh thyme if you have it. I'm gonna add my chicken to this dish and what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna cook it halfway. All right, so some melted butter, three tablespoons. I'm gonna add my onion and my garlic, and I'm just gonna let it go until it gets super duper soft. And this should be on medium heat. Now that our onion and garlic are clear, we're going to add crushed red pepper. If you would like, this is optional, obviously, for people who don't like spice, then you're going to add three tablespoons of flour. The most important thing about that step, guys, is that you wanna make sure that you're cooking out your flour and mixing as best as possible. You don't want chunks of flour in your sauce. After about 10 minutes, the mushrooms really reduce. Add your cup of broth and let it simmer until thick. Add your half and half. Wow, that looks amazing. Once your cream all thickens up, you're gonna add a teaspoon of lemon zest. You're gonna add all your spinach and you're gonna let that spinach cook a little bit in the sauce. It's gonna reduce to nothing, as you can see. Then we're going to add our salt. Then we're gonna add our chicken. Let the chicken cook for a couple of minutes in the sauce. 
my favorite step. We're gonna add that cheese all over, then we're gonna top it off with some parsley, and then we're putting it in the broiler. Good and amazing. Look at this. I have to give you a close up. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Guys, guys. Oh my god, I have to. I have guys, this is a creamy chicken mushroom one pot deliciousness right here that I made for MBIC and then I took it under the broiler with some gouda and mozzarella cheese and melted it on top. Yo, it's fire and I'm gonna serve it with some farfalle pasta. Oh, pasta that I'm just going to ladle and I don't wanna really, I wanna break the cheese. Oh my God, are you guys getting this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I get so excited for this stuff. I just want to ladle it, and I want you guys to observe. Oh, I'm just gonna ladle it on top, just like that. And then we're gonna take some sauce and just ladle that around the pasta, okay? Oh my God, the cheese is oozing everywhere. And then we're just gonna squeeze a little lemon on top. And yalla, let's eat this one dish cream. All right. All right, we are back. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I think everyone's probably a little bit hungry now. Um, I mean, are you there still? Uh, I'm here. You're, okay, you're there. All right, uh, I'm feeling a little bit hungry. My stomach's starting to uh, growl a little bit. And that, today for iftar. Well, that's because, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. I do like uh, mushrooms. I think mushrooms is something that is, uh, I did not appreciate growing up. Yeah. Um, uh, but now um, I seem to like, like it a lot. But um, I noticed not all my kids do. So my son actually doesn't like mushrooms. And especially when he knows there's mushrooms in the dish. So I was wondering, is there uh, a possible substitute Maybe for somebody who doesn't like mushrooms, is there yeah. something else they could do with this dish? Of course. So you don't have to necessarily add mushrooms. Um, you can add peppers. You can add whatever vegetable really comes to mind or whatever you have in your kitchen, right? So that's the whole point is like, what do I have? What do I don't want to go to waste? If you have asparagus, if you have peas, if you have, uh, I don't know if I would do eggplant though, but I would definitely substitute uh, mushrooms with peppers, or this can taste really good without mushrooms at all, and you could just keep it spinach. Okay, great. What about the cheeses? Can we manipulate the cheeses yeah. at all? So I just happen to have shredded gouda in my house, and I, I personally love gouda. It's more of a smoky flavor, um, but you could just keep it straight mozzarella. You could keep it half mozzarella, half a cup of mozzarella, half a cup of parmesan. You could do pecorino. You could do whatever you want. Okay, I, I enjoy cooking, um, and but I did not come across this uh, uh, that you had mentioned better than bouillon. Uh, so amazing. what is better than bouillon, and how do we get that? And maybe what is a substitute that maybe we could use instead of better than bouillon? Okay, so this is my whole reasoning behind that jar. I use a lot of broth, a lot. So all the time. So I try to make it homemade as best as I can, but with the amount of cooking that we do in our house, it's not always there. And I noticed that buying it at the store, it's actually a quart is like two bucks. So I went to Costco and I saw this better, they have it in different flavors, but obviously I picked the vegetable one. Um, it was $6 and you use a teaspoon of that paste in a cup of hot water and it makes a cup of broth. So it's just super convenient. I really do recommend that everybody gets that at least once. Okay, we have some questions coming in. I like um, questions. Hit him. Hit me with the questions. I will hit you with the questions. And so I'm, I'm a little bit not, like I said, not technologically that savvy. Um, Wait, but everybody but needs to go to Costco and get the better than the bouillon thing. It will save your life. It will literally than, save it. And it's all ve it's, it's vegetable. It's a vegetable base. Vegetable base, fantastic. They have a chicken base and a beef base, but we don't want to talk about that. Let's right, right. So, okay. 
But if somebody doesn't have the better than bullion, can they use uh, if they have use some uh, chicken stock or something? Or, sure. or okay, okay. Yeah. So I didn't have homemade chicken stock, which is okay. obviously flavorful as well. So that would be beautiful, actually, because you're just adding on to the chicken. Would you use beef stock or no? No, because I'm adding chicken. So if okay. I was adding okay. beef, I would. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Um, can you use whole wheat flour? I don't see why not, because we're mixing it with the butter and we're just cooking it out. It's, it's used as a thickener, really. So why not? I don't see why not. But I, right. I, 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 yeah, I guess if there, there's allergies involved in stuff, I would use whole wheat. Okay. Um, where can we find this recipe? I mean, can you have the other written up recipe? Yeah. So this recipe, you can find it. I think you guys are going to share this video, right? And yep. also on my Instagram at meals.with.amina. Um, it's on Instagram. And I also have a website. It's www.mealswithamina.com. Amina spelled A-M-I-N-A. -A. Okay. We can uh, we'll type it we'll, maybe in the yeah, chat. Yeah, we'll post that. Uh, yeah, we'll post that in the chat. Uh, but this <laughs> recipe specifically is there. Yeah. Am I, am I correct to say that this recipe was specifically made for MBIC crowd? Yeah, that yes. introduction is all MBIC. This is this is the whole debut, right, of your yeah. new dish. This uh, is a new dish. I didn't even put it on my blog yet. Okay, so is it going to go on your blog, though? This is exclusive. Yeah, I will. Okay, so people can find the recipe mm -hmm. there, a little more detailed. Okay, uh, Zamina Dean says, it looks very delicious. Very nice. Hey. Um, okay. Uh, broccoli. Hmm. Somebody broccoli suggested sure, broccoli. Why not? Could broccoli I be would used? I cook broccoli for a little bit longer because broccoli is a little bit um, of a firm vegetable. Okay. So the mushrooms cook within minutes, right? They reduce to nothing. Broccoli, you're going to have to keep it on the fire for a little bit longer. That's so should, okay. should you boil the broccoli first and then put it in? If you want to like really expedite it, but I wouldn't recommend that because it makes it super mushy at the end. So I wouldn't do that. I would just cook it for a little couple minutes longer. Okay. So you get it to the, the, the texture that you like. Okay. Uh, we have a question here. Uh, do you broil on high or low? So I did it on high for a minute, but you can do it on low for a lot, lot for a little bit longer, but you should stand. This is, this is my PSA. Stand next to the oven when you have the broiler on, because in a matter of minutes, it's a fire. So 60 seconds, then take it out. Okay. Um, Talal asked uh, Hashmi, do you have a YouTube channel? Well, you can go and see her on yeah. the blog and her stuff's there. Okay. You have I a YouTube, have well? YouTube channel too. If you type okay. in meals with Amina, it comes up. It's not that great, but like it's, it's there. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is all a hobby on your part. Yeah. Yeah. You don't do this professionally. No. <laughs> all right. I wish. Where's Food Network at? Oh, look at that. All right. Uh, all right. We got uh, NG uh, says, hi, Amina. It's okay. You got some fans here. <laughs> all right um okay is there MSG interesting. in the bullion yes is there msg in the let bullion? me check i can check and come back my my fridge is right there i okay. don't think so let me check all right we also got a question here trader joe's also has a vegetable based chicken bullion uh interesting it's vegetable based chicken bullion uh in its spice rack uh if you can't get the, the costco so somebody's suggesting that um all right. So you, did, you, did you get a chance to check if there's MSG in it? I'm going, to, I'm checking. See where it is. I can't find it. I'll check for everybody. Oh, okay. Okay, I found it. All right. Um, this is it. Can you everybody see that? Oh my God, I feel like a YouTube blogger. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's a seasoned vegetable base. It's USDA organic. That means there's no MSG in it, right? I don't know. I'm not a cook. Vegetables, mallow, no, no, nope. Has no MSG in it. All right. Looks like it has no MSG. Okay. You heard it here first, folks. That's no right. MSG. All right. Um, <clears throat> we have another question here is, uh, is there a gluten-free option? Yeah. So honestly, if you, if the flour is something that you are, can't put in your sauce due to your gluten-free, I would just add more cheese. Cheese is a really good thickener. I would also, instead of maybe half and half, I would add heavy cream because heavy cream thickens 
um, over time when it's on heat. So I would do that and just add more cheese and then thicken it up like that. And then you don't have to add flour. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. This NG seems to be quite a, a fan of yours that you're a star. Uh, <laughs> how do I get your delivery options? All right. That's good to know. All right. Um, so we have like a, a one more minute. If anybody has any more questions, uh, the recipe will be posted. I mean, this video will be available online. You can see yeah. how it's done um, on the MBIC uh, uh, YouTube page. Um, and also the recipe will be posted on Amina uh, Meals with Amina yeah. uh, as well. Uh, so you can get that. We encourage everybody to try this out. Uh, inshallah, it's we're gonna so be good. It's we had a first thought yesterday. I my mom was like, "You should have brought it to Sammy's house. That should have been like part of the deal." I was yeah, like, well, that, that, I, "I will take that delivery week, option." Next whoever's week. doing it next week, that should be the call. <laughs> yes, I, I should. I should have to approve whether or not this goes forward or not. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bring, uh, I will be your official. Uh, be the official taste tester for <laughs> MBIC. Yeah. Uh, sounds fantastic. Quality check. All right. Alhamdulillah. I think we're going to uh, close um, uh, uh, this show uh, for today. Again, a reminder uh, uh, to uh, please try to you know, do this with your family. It's a fun activity. Uh, take advantage of this. Um, uh, the second thing is take advantage of the pizza in a box Tuesday. Uh, That's that, so cool, that, by the way. I did you, not know that was a thing. Pizza in the box. That's right. We'll bring hey, how in. far are you guys delivering? That's a really good question. Uh, it's within, I believe, 10 miles of MBIC. Yeah, so. that's not me. Yeah, you're a little, you're a little, you're a little out there, um, but yeah. So, um, but we're going to be doing that inshallah ta'ala on Tuesday. Uh, people have a chance to make a pizza at home uh, with their families. Uh, you will get the dough, you will get the uh, uh, halal pepperoni, you will get the sauce, and you will get the cheese for your pizza, as well as instructions and a video, uh, instructions on how to access a video on how to make your pizza. Uh, wow. So. Uh, the second thing is uh, today is or tonight is the ending or the last point. I guess so, so today is the last day for uh, the 30 day challenge. So we encourage everybody inshallah ta'ala to give something every month uh, to give something. I'm sorry, every day for the whole month of Ramadan. You go online, pick the amount that you want to give. And then inshallah ta'ala over four days, I mean, over four weeks, it will uh, charge accordingly. And inshallah ta'ala, you will then uh, have given something every month. Uh, during the month of Ramadan uh, for MBIC uh, and supporting that and increasing the uh, ability to be uh, uh, generous in this month. Uh, we encourage everybody to tune in uh, inshallah, uh, every Sunday at 1 p.m. We will be having, like I said, another cooking opportunity uh, for everybody to share. Uh, again, we thank uh, 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 Amina uh, for uh, putting this together and for sharing with us some of your skills. No uh, doubt. And and we hope that people visit your blog and see some of your other uh, fantastic recipes. Um, the, the, the Cinnabons look pretty impressive on your recipes. So Honestly, uh, is, is, Cinnabon is that... who? Like, if you make it at your house, you're never going to buy it outside again. That's my point. Like, that's the scope of the blog. Let's make stuff at home so we don't have to buy it outside every single time. So every time I crave something, I don't always want to go out and get it. And it's a money saver. Lastly, is there anybody who inspired you or inspires you in terms of your cooking? Uh, what did you say? I thought you weren't is, talking to me. <laughs> no, no. Is there anyone who inspires you? In my mom. Opinion? My mom is amazing. She's so good. She's so good. I wish I could be as good as her. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve her. And Thank you so much. Uh, again, and Ramadan Mubarak to all. And Ramadan. we pray that everybody, inshallah ta'ala, enjoys this meal and enjoys all the future meals coming up. And again, uh, community begins at home. Uh, cooking begins at home. Iftar begins at home. Uh, yeah. Inshallah ta'ala. So take advantage of these opportunities. Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum.